Hi, welcome back guys. Um, so this is me, Adam, back again for, what's this, my one, two, four, uh, my fourth video in a week, which is kind of crazy. Um, and uh, kind of unforgivable, so I, I do apologise for making so many, I know I always apologise for making videos, but sometimes I do uh, feel like I, uh, uh, you know, I take too much of your time. And uh, I don't think it's fair, alright, sometimes. Um, because you could be doing something more important than just watch me talk about comics and stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, the reason why I'm making this video, as Tom suggests, is Don the Comic Book Junkies 479 subs contest. Um, 479, it's a weird number, but fuck it, who gives a shit, it's this channel, you can do it on whatever number you want. Uh, so, well done mate, uh, <laughs> your subs are well deserved. Um, yeah, I enjoy your channel man, I really do, you know I enjoy your channel, and uh, I enjoy talking to you, uh, I think you're a great guy. Um, you know, you, you've hooked me up in the past, you've gone out of your way to send me a care package of um, some signed books and just some goodies, man, just because you thought, why not? Because, you know, it was, it was a cool thing to do. Uh, so, you know, that you never that really did... Uh, yeah, it meant a lot to me, man. No one's ever done anything like that for me before. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of special. So, thank you very much. And uh, I love them, man. I love the books. Um, they are my pro one of some of my prized possessions among, amongst my collection. So thank you very much, mate. Um, but you set us, you set us a task. Um, you asked us some questions. Um, you asked us for two supervillains to come good, to turn good. Well, this one I pondered uh, the most out of. Uh, this this wasn't an easy one to think of for me. Uh, one of them I got straight away. Um, that's purely because I've been watching Daredevil on Netflix, which is fucking awesome. Um, I'm only up, I'm up to issue, f uh, issue episode 13, I think it was. Uh, he's just got his costume, just beat the crap out of uh, Wilson Fisk. Um, but yeah, I've been watching watching um, Daredevil, so I'm thinking Kingpin. What would happen if he turned good? Um, he's obviously a man of power. You know, he's, 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 a, he's a crazy clever dude. And, and he's a man of resources. So it makes you wonder, you know, if he turned his, uh, his, his uh, demeanour to good, what he could accomplish. So Kingpin being my first choice there. Um, it's the second choice that I'm struggling with. And, um, you know, I went down a couple of routes. Um, one, one of the routes was going to be, um, uh, you know, I had to think of like why I wanted them to turn good and I guess the reason I want these people to turn good is because I want to read what happens in the comic books so my first thought was Motherfucker from Kick-Ass just because I thought it would be funny if a superhero would be called Motherfucker and people call him Motherfucker is it a bird, is it a plane, no it's a Motherfucker so uh, yeah, that that was one of them um, just made me chuckle um, I'm sorry for all the swearing um, but I settled on the end with, I, 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 he's, look, he's in comic book form, so therefore I class him as a supervillain. Uh, I'm going to go with Darth Vader. It's not very original, but I would like to see a comic book where Darth Vader turns good. And I'd like to see that comic book where he's just trying to atone for all his sins. You know, uh, I still want to be, in, I want him to feel guilt, I want to feel pain. You know, I, I want him to be, not be able to atone for his sins. So uh, yeah, Darth, Darth Vader and Kingpin would be my two supervillains to turn to superheroes. Uh, now, heroes to villains. Um, they, you know, it's, they're hard questions, especially these days, because you know a lot of the time the comics now are putting the spin on it where they turn characters good and turn bad characters. Yeah, you, know, you know they're doing the vice versa thing a lot these days. So it was very hard. To, it was very hard to think of. Uh, you know, one of the choices I had was maybe turning Alfred Pennyworth a, a baddie. Um, maybe he could give Batman his ultimate test. That was one thought. Because uh, you know Alfred used to be a Green Beret in, uh, in the SAS. Uh, so you know that was a thought. Um, um, but one one I went with was I would like to see Nick Fury turn evil. Um, you know, because again, the same reason I want to see Kingpin turn good. Um, Nick Fury is a really clever dude. He always seems to have an answer for everything. And you know he's got pretty much unlimited resources. So, you, you can imagine what sort of shit he could come up with. Uh, so Nick Fury would be definitely, 
definitely one I'd like to see turn bad. And the second choice is, is um, Kitty Pride uh, from Uncanny X Men. Um, purely because her whole demeanour is the girl next door. You know, she's a cute girl, she's a lovely girl, um, you know, and she, she doesn't have the greatest of powers, you would think. But you look at some of the storylines she's been involved in, especially the last one, the Black Vortex story. Um, she basically saved the whole planet because she turned into a cosmic being. Now, if she could do that good, you know, what sort of, what, 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 was, what happened if you turned her bad? I'd like to see an evil Kitty Pride. I would. I'd like to see that. Uh, so yeah, that's what I would like to see. Um, what else did you ask for? Oh, you asked us for a number between 1 and 666, the sign of the beast. Uh, I'm going to go 221, if it's not already taken. Um, don't know why. Um, it's the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. There you go. T 221. It's the last first appearance I can remember. Uh, and I just I like it. 221. Uh, you also ask us to champion another YouTuber, other than your good self. Again, this was a very hard decision, because in my opinion, they all deserve championing. Um, there are some superb YouTubers out there, uh, and <laughs> the community is just a fantastic place. Uh, you have Tylex and Mighty, you have Sleepy Reader, uh, you have Scott 30 New 7 x um, it's quite excellent, he's having one of those two. Sorry, dude. Um, you know, there's so many good channels out there that I would love to give everyone a shout out. I really would. Because they're fantastic. They've got Kevin's Corner, uh, Crane's Comics, um, AJ Surfer. The list goes on and on and on. Um, comic Book of Theat, you know. Um, Sarge. Uh, there's just too many. Um, just do it, Francis McManaman. Uh, <laughs> just I could go on and on and on. I really could. Um, but the person I'm picking, I'm picking um, because when I first joined the community, about well, must be nearly two years ago now, maybe over two years. I'm not sure. Um, this person was one of the first to sub to me, and who used to watch my channel regularly and comment regularly one of my first people to do that and um, that person is Cosmo Bosco 771 Richard Tricky Dick MF and Cosmo he always took the time to watch my videos uh, always left a comment always positive he's a super super nice guy um, he is just he is the, what the YouTube community is about, really. He, he sums it up perfectly. Um, he's always got great things to say. He's always championing new people coming into the community. Um, and we kind of, like, we grew up uh, collecting a lot of the same books, uh, mainly image crap. No, I'm not going to call it image crap. I, I'm not going to feel guilty for liking image books. Um, image 90 books were fucking awesome, okay? They were awesome. It's as simple as that. They're really cheesy, maybe, I don't care. They're amazing. Um, I watched his videos, he likes image books too, and we sort of sort of bonded over that sort of stuff. And you know, he's just a, he's a great, great guy. And um, you know, there's, I have, you know, there's a lot of people within YouTube, uh, in the YouTube world that are brilliant. And I love their channels. And you know, and there's always, you know, it's like, no matter what, you always get a little more you know, some some right here, you know, really good, and some bit closer. And, uh, yeah, Richard's one of the close ones, man. So, yeah, if you haven't checked out his channel, check out Cosmo Bosco 771's channel. He's an awesome dude. He really is. Um, and also, go and check out Don the Comic Book Junk Junkie channel as well. Another awesome dude. Um, I think I'm actually making a video of all the people and to give more shout-outs because there's just too many to mention. Uh, so, yeah, that's who I champion. Um, cool dude. Uh, next, you still want to see my collection. Well, unlike you, Don, um, I don't have the awesome room you have. Um, you truly do have the ultimate man cave, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's just freaking amazing, your room. Um, unfortunately, my wife is not so forgiving. Um, and until my son moves out, um, I can't have the spare room. So, unless we move somewhere else and I get, we get a third bedroom, 
or my son moves out. Um, yeah, he's 19 this year, come on. He's got a flea nest at some point, isn't he? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of unlimited to confines of our bedroom. Um, she doesn't want none of my um, shit, as she so, 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 uh, calls it down there. Um, so, yeah, it was like, um, I've been basically given one half of our bedroom, which is basically my side of the bed. Anything on my side of the bed, I can occupy with my shit. Anything on her side of the bed, you know, note the girly stuff, it's her stuff. Which is why you find most of the rubbish on that side of the bed, because she's a dirty cow sometimes. <laughs> I'm really sorry, she is. She won't like me saying that, but she is. Uh, I'm always picking up after her. Anywho. Uh, so what I'm doing lately is um, I've had to move a lot of my stuff. So a lot of my statues have come down. Um, I've boxed them back up, which I didn't really want to do. I want my statues out on display. But the problem is they take up so much room, which meant I was getting had no, I didn't have no storage space. Um, so until I can find out an, an alternative storage method, um, they're in the boxes unfortunately at the moment. But let's show you. Let's see what's going on. Okay, I'll just flip that around. Okay, you're gonna have a look at the ceiling, and there we go. So we we'll start off with the top shelf of my bookcase here. Um, got my Iron Man there. Um, a, this is my X Men bucket I got from my local cinema when the film came out. Um, I just keep crapping it basically. Um, got my Hellboy there. It looks a bit like he's been punched in the head. Uh, some Eagle Moss up there. I left these are the only Eagle Moss I left out because these are the ones I like the most. So the rest of the storage. So I just kept the Batman family out. It's so a little two towels thing there. And then you go down. This is where I just keep my DVDs basically. So yeah, any DVDs is down here. Um, I don't keep them downstairs because mainly they're my, I say my films, they are my films, but uh, my wife won't watch them with me because she doesn't like them. So there's no point keeping them downstairs because she won't watch them with me. Uh, I've got a little uh, Batman there, Zero Year Batman. Bookshelf underneath, we've got Thrasher Batman. There, we've got my three coasters. These are really cool, these are awesome. Good buddy, another great YouTuber, Drew, uh, Drew Carson. He gave me these in the prize, they're awesome. Thanks, Drew. You're awesome, man. Getting some more DVDs and getting more DVDs. So, you know, about the top shelf here. We've got my Iron Man Lego, which I still haven't built yet. I've got to build that. Um, my Batman figures there. Um, I have to say, they will be getting opened. I'm not a mint and box collector. They will be getting opened. They will be. Uh, okay. Uh, next up we got... we got my Spider-Man. He's my bookshelf. He's probably not my bookshelf, isn't it? So, all these books here... All these trades, these are all the trades I've got to read. So you know when I keep saying, why do I keep buying trades? I shouldn't, because I've still got loads to read. This is what I've got to read. This is all the trades I have to read. Um, which is frigging crazy. Um, yeah, I need to start buying it. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I've got 20 trades I need to read, which is just fucking stupid. Um, on this side is my comic books to read. I've got some more downstairs, which is the new stuff I've been working my way through. And right here is all the future end stuff I showed you the other day. So that's mainly future end stuff. As we go down, some more trades there. Killer Quark, little mini Hellboy. Uh, I think they're all DC, they're all DC there. Come across, more DC. These books here, this is my signed stuff. This is where I keep my, uh, well, that's my, that's my Avengers magazine, it's not signed cool. It's cool, it was. And here's my signed Spider Man and One by Dan Slott and Stan Lee, which is cool. My Avengers signed by Stan Lee. And then this stuff here, this is some little cool stuff here. My Divine Right, signed by Jim Lee. Jim Lee, he also signed that, Jim Lee signed it, and. Travis, uh, Jay, Jay Lee, Scott Williams, and Travis Cheris. That's cool. Ah, so this come, this is where my good buddy Don, so the man himself, hooked me up. There you go. Deadpool. Humberto Ramos. 
signature Haven, was it Haven Comics? Hero Haven. You also hooked me up a uh, Deathlock sign as well, which is awesome. That one didn't come with the signature kit. My Harley Quinn sign as well. A Yankee sit down the bottom there, which is awesome. He didn't tell me he's going to send this, so I was going, I was, he's, uh, he sent it, I was like, dude, you nutter. So, I was well chuffed for that. And again, this one, he never said, told me he was sending either. I was just like, what? I just opened that past and I was like, fucking hell, dude, you're just crazy. It's crazy, crazy, dude. So thanks, Don. You know, I'm, I love these books, and they like I said, this is why they, this is why they're here. It's because they're part of my um, ultimate collection sort of thing. So yeah, Don. Don said he was gonna hook me up with one book. He ended, like sent me like about twenty. He's crazy like that. Yeah, if Don ever says he's gonna send you one book. Don't listen to him because he ends up sending you loads. He just goes nuts. So, and there's my flash signed by um, Francis Manipal, I think it was. Uh, ba -ba -ba, Francis Manipal. There you are, yep. And finally, uh, my new X Men signed by Frank Quietly and uh, Grant Morrison, I believe it was. Du -du 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 -du, Grant Morrison and Frank Quietly. So that's cool. That's that stuff there. That's my signed books, anyway. I haven't got many, but ones I've got, I love. And, um,. Don actually gave me like two thirds of them. It's <laughs> crazy. So right, you're looking at war. So go down here, more trades. This is Batman. I mean, this is all Batman. Pretty much all that's just Batman. So Flash, Deathstroke. Um, it, it amazes me how many DC books I've got now. Because I never used to be a DC guy, but I got crazy about them. Uh, right down here, we've got my independent books. So American Vampire, We Three. Um, Frey, Helheim, Fear Agent, Star Wars, Sweet Tooth, uh, Revelations. Uh, not everyone likes Herberto Ramos, yeah, but this book here, Revelations, Herberto Ramos done the art in it, and it, this book is amazing. It looks amazing, I think, and um, it pretty much reads, um, reads pretty much like the uh, what's that bloody film called with Tom Hanks? Uh, da Vinci Code, a bit like that. There's some more Walking Dead uh, books, so 1 to 22 there. I have 23 up there somewhere. I've got to read that yet. I've got my little Walking Dead zombie there in front of them. Look. And again, come over here, some image books. Your Hellboy, Sam and Twitch, look, come on. Come down here, my Marvel books, my Wolverine Bank. And down here I've got like a previews. Uh, what else I've got down here? I've got previews. I've got a Fairchild figure from Gen 13, which is a bit random. Um, oh. Got the uh, Bride of Chucky there. I got given that as a wedding present <laughs> from one of my mates. It's quite cool. Uh, down here, in these, in these folders here is all my trading cards. So, you know, some bags there. She always need bags. My John Cena tincture, you can't see me. And as we go up, we've got some Why the Last Man, some Lock and Key Bunker, which is all good. It's all good stuff. And what else have we got? Ah, okay. So up here we got my spawn print, which I love that. Had that since I was about 15. 15, can you imagine? Um, just down here. The TV, my DVD player and stuff. Um, my Play TV from my PlayStation, so I can play my TV at PlayStation upstairs. Which is cool. And this is where I keep all my books. So I'm just in the process of putting everything in long boxes, and I'm actually need another couple of long boxes. I think I've probably got three more long boxes to do it. Um, yes, yeah, my wife's handbags are in here somehow. It's that big red box there. There's all my wife and her handbags. And she's put the toiletries down here as well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've got what's it? Um, two, four. Well, I have about 16 long boxes, which is not a massive collection. I think my collection's up to about three and a half thousand. Um, I try to, like this box here, all the stuff here is all the stuff I need to file away and put away. And then on these two boxes here, this box here, and the box, there's two boxes here. 
And this box here, that's my ongoing series. So everything I get weekly goes in these two boxes. Everything else is all filed away. So not permanently, but that is where it stays. So I have two ongoing boxes and then everything else just stays where it is. Um, so yeah, I've got to get two, two more uh, long boxes or three more long boxes. And I think I can get one more layer. I think I can go full high maximum in here. Um, I need to sort that box down there. It's getting a bit crushed. It's all right, it's not too bad. Just where it's a bit dodgy box to be fair to begin with. But that's it. That is a, uh, that's my crib. My collection. Uh, so yeah, so Dom, keep it up mate. Love your videos bud. Um, here's the next competition. Um, if you haven't checked out Dom's channel, go and check it out. It's cool. Until next time, be safe, be well, and above worlds, good to each other. Take care, bye.